let us go to net area. How do we solve the net area of section with holes? So, take note that according to NSCP 504.3.2, second paragraph, in computing the net area for tension and shear, meaning this is tension and shear not in the bolt, but shear in the plate or whatever section or element you use. The width of the bolt hole shall be taken 2 mm greater than, take note, the nominal dimension of hole, not of the passenger. It means this is the nominal dimension of the hole. You will still have to add here 2 mm, right? For example, we have here this plate. Let us say that this plate is, let us say, 10 mm by 250 mm. It means this is the thickness, this is the width. Okay? It is subjected to a pool of T. So, and there is a hole. Let us say that this hole is M16 bolt. It means it is a 16 millimeter diameter bolt. So the 18 millimeter here is the whole diameter nominal. But for the computation of the net width, what is net width? Take note that when you pull this, it will most likely uh, fail in tension at this section. Right? So at this section, the net area is going to be, if we will take the section here, it's this. It's the thickness, the gross width, and this is the whole width. Obviously, this is supposed to be the diameter of the hole. But conservatively, it would be nominal diameter plus 2 millimeters. What is that 2 millimeters for? It is this. Now, there are four methods to drill a hole. One is using thermal or gas method. So, this is using like acetylene torch or any LPG torch. Okay? So, the disadvantage of that is that it is very rough and the hole is a bit inaccurate. Now, the second method, the most accurate, is the drilling method. But this is very expensive because of the cost of drill bit. So, the drill bit, for example, for 16mm, is costing us more than 1,000 pesos, the branded one, okay? It is more than 1,000 pesos per drill bit. And that drill bit won't last or won't be able to drill 20 holes or not even 15 holes, I think, depending on the strength or the FY or yield strength of the steel that we are working on, okay? Now, the third method is the sub-punching. You punch it, but the hole will be smaller than the actual hole. So, and then what you will do is you are going to pile using abrasive stone the inner surface of the hole in order to make the hole bigger that is equal to the size of the, the standard size of the hole if it is a standard hole or oversized hole if it is an oversized hole, okay? So, the problem here, this is also accurate but also very expensive because of the cost of abrasive stone plus the cost of labor, okay? The cost of labor of this is actually more expensive than this but fitting will be more accurate, okay? Now, the least expensive is the commonly used if not specified, it is automatically that we are referring to this one. This is the most economical, but this is limited if the diameter of hole is greater than the diameter of the plate thickness. So, it is very unlikely that you will use a puncher if 
the diameter of hole is smaller than thickness of plate. For example, if this thickness of plate is 10 millimeter, and then you will have a hole of, let us say, 4 millimeter, so the puncture will be smaller than the, than the thickness of the plate, then that would be most unlikely, right? So it is better to use a drill. You get it? Okay. So, a puncher is used if the diameter of hole is greater than the thickness of plate, which is a for structural element is the commonly encountered situation. Now, however, in this uh, situation, it requires allowance for imperfection and alignment. That said allowance is this 2 millimeters. This 2 millimeters is a must add allowance to be added to the nominal diameter of hole if your method of making hole is by punching. If not specified, it is automatically understood that we are doing it by punching. Right? So, as a structural designer, it is safer to assume that your method of making hole is by punching. So, what I'm saying is you add the 2 millimeters. If you really intend not to use this, then you really have to specify on the plan or in the plan and you really have to supervise and see to it that the holes will really be either drilled or sub-punching or sub-punch. You get it? So, otherwise, use this provision for your design. You follow? So, throughout our discussion, unless otherwise specified, we will be adopting the nominal diameter plus 2 millimeters as our width of the hole. For example, here, this is 250. The gross width is... 250, right? So, if we will be solving the net area, the net area of this will be the gross width, the gross width minus the width of the hole times the thickness. So, let us begin with the thickness. The thickness is 10 times the gross width is 250. We are to subtract the width of the hole. The width of the hole is the hole diameter plus 2 mm. So the hole diameter for 16 mm bolt is 18. So this would be minus 18 plus 2. This is the width of the hole. 18 plus 2, this is 20, right? So this is going to be 250 minus 20, 230 times 10. So this is going to be 2300 millimeter squared. This is the net area of the section. Do you follow?